today we're going to be reading Giraffes Can't Dance. Also, I'm not going to edit this video because I don't feel in the mood. So yeah, if you don't see this edited, that's why. Okay, so let's get into the story. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. Push Gerald. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees but when it, he tried to to run around he buckled at the knees so him munching on a shrub and him trying to run around chase the butterfly he knuck, stumbles and he falls kind of sad now every year in africa they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the dance arrives, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. Nice old Gerald. The white, the warthogs started waltzing, and the rhinos rocked rock and roll. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. So, there's the. Whatever. Um, the rhinos and the lions went a little waltz. The chimps all did a cha cha with a very Latin feel and ate baboons, then teamed up for a spiel to squish reel. I don't know if I said that right, but. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked town, walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all Neared. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're just so weird. Mm. Gerald, you're rude. All of them started laughing. The lions picked the turn, and Gerald was just stuck in the middle. Wait, press that button here. Gerald simply froze up. He was root. rooted to the spot. There, right, he thought, I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he creeped off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad. So sad and so alone. There's Gerald froze up. And now he can't tell everybody that's at the jungle. 
then he found a little curling and he hooked looked up at the sky the moon can be so beautiful he whispered with a sigh excuse me called a cricket who'd seen gerald earlier on but sometimes when you're different you just need a different song so there's gerald looking up in the moonlight with the cricket it's a beautiful picture well all these pictures are beautiful listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees to me the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze so imagine imagine that the lonely moon is playing or loving wait lovingly moon is playing just for you everything makes music if you really want it to oh, that's a grasshopper With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. The Gerald then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making crickets or circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying, and his tall tail was swishing around. Get playing around here. Little bugs. Look at his feet swollen. Tail. See that? It's quite amazing. Oh, and I forgot all the ants. Those are ants. He threw his legs out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backwards somersault and leaped up in the air. Moon did a backwards somersault. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I'm am I am dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. There's an owl even scaring. Why find the crocodile? Then, one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quiet, quiet. Entrance. They shouted, It's a miracle! We must have been in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever seen. Ever, ever seen. Everybody's lining up to watch Gerald. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. To the It's a great book. Or it's a great book. Um hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, click that subscribe button, turn on notifications, give us a huge thumbs up. Um, forgot who the author was. Jill's Andrea and Guy Parker reads.
So, hope you have a wonderful day or night because it's 5.39 right now on a Wednesday in Michigan. Yeah, it's December. No, it's not December. It's January. I'm sorry. It's January 11th. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this story. If you did, leave a like. Comment them. Well, you can't really comment. I will fix that. So, yeah. Um, hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh. And don't forget to click that subscribe button. I already said that, but just make sure.